All right, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make this Vox style map animation. So this is the Vox animation that we're gonna be making here. Now also, I apologize for my voice is a little bit croaky. I've just been sick, so I'm still getting over that. But in order to make this effect, you're going to need to download a few different files or source a few different things. Now the elements that I got here were from today's sponsor, Invado Elements, which were these map images you can see here on screen. Now I only need one of these and you could go and just make one of these using, you know, Photoshop or something like that by drawing out a series of lines. But Envato Elements basically just has lots of these graphic assets that you can just instantly download through their subscription service. Now this month I've teamed up with Envato Elements and we're giving away a one year free subscription and I'm gonna tell you a bit more about that in just a minute. Now over in After Effects, I've just selected one of my maps here. I can then scale this up so it fills the whole screen. And we're gonna use this to basically create that animation. Now to this map, what I'm gonna do is just add a fill effect. So you can just find that by searching for fill up here and just make it say a white color so we can see what we're doing. I'm just gonna turn off the transparent background and I can also hit T and just scale down the opacity of this layer to somewhere around 50%. Now I wanna take that and then duplicate it. So I'm just gonna duplicate that layer. And with the top one, I now want to change that to be the highlight color. So I'm just using something like an orange here or something like this. And for this one, I can just turn up the opacity if I want it a little bit brighter, maybe around 75%, something like that. Now to get that animation, what we wanna do is basically create some a mask that goes across. So I'm just gonna create a mask that kind of goes across like this. Take that mask layer, move it back over here and just create a mask path keyframe. Maybe go across about a second here and then just drag that across. So we end up with something like that. Now when it gets to here, what I want to do is then just take this first keyframe, paste it in there. So we basically just reset that mask. I wanna make sure that's right next to that so we don't have it moving back. It's just kind of moving across in one seamless motion. Then I can take that, copy that, and then just paste it out here again, and maybe out here again. So we kind of get this animation sort of basically looping that goes across like this. Now again, you can go in here and just adjust any of these settings. So if you want it wider um, or you want to adjust the speed, you can just drag in on these keyframes. Now to create the little dots, what I did here was I just came up here and selected the ellipse tool. And I want to select a fill color and I also added a stroke on that was roughly about four pixels. And I'm just holding shift on my keyboard here just to draw out a rough dot that sits something like that. Now, once you've got one, what you can do is just duplicate that and then move it out somewhere else. Now, if I just keep doing this, I can create a series of dots, but I can also scale some of these up and I can also scale some of them down. So if I just move them across here. So this is what you should end up with here. So you've got all your different dots basically laid out on your map. Now, the other thing you can do, or what I've done is added a hue and saturation, which you can search for up here. And then you can add a little bit of a saturation, basically decrease the saturation, maybe at around 75%, and then have that animate up to say around sort of a zero. So I've just created some keyframes, actually added a little bit higher, but basically what that does is it creates this, you know, fade on effect of the uh, color or the saturation of those dots. Now, what we want to do, take that layer and then duplicate it. So we've got all those dots laid out again. And what I'm gonna do is just delete all of these different dots, but just leave one. And I can move this one wherever I need it to be. So maybe somewhere around here. Just kind of resize this to something like that. And this is going to become the point in which we're going to zoom into. So this is gonna be the destination that you want to basically show on your map. So with that ellipse, what I can do is now take that, I can duplicate it, and with the ellipse underneath, I can go into the stroke settings and basically change the color of that stroke. Create a keyframe for the stroke width. and scale this up to around sort of 44. Create an opacity keyframe there and one here at the start. 
and fade this off. So that's how we get that little, basically that little line that shoots out the side like that. We can basically also take these, make them easy ease, and then we can adjust the position of those to get that effect of that little highlighter effect like that. Now, the last thing I added over the top of that was some text. So I just typed out some text here by using my text tool, typed out the word that you wanna label that little dot. And the other thing that I added to it was I came over here and added the typewriter effect and basically just added that on top and then adjusted the uh, keyframes here to get the speed of that animating on. Now this paper texture I sourced from this video sponsor, Invato Elements, and they have tons of these different assets that you can use that are ready to use and just download. And the best part is this is all part of one low monthly subscription. The other great thing is you not only get access to graphics, you get access to stock video, photos, music, sound files, After Effects templates, and so many more elements. And even better, they offer a seven day free trial in selected countries that you can sign up to. And if you wanna to continue to use their service, you can use my special link down in the description below, and that's gonna give you 50% off an annual subscription. Now also Invato Elements has their own YouTube channel called Invato Tuts Plus. This channel is full of hundreds of free resources and video courses including Photoshop, InDesign, After Effects and Premiere. This channel also gets frequently updated with tons of new content. And it's also a great way to see how other content creators out there are using Invato Elements in their workflows. Now for this video, I've also teamed up with Invato Elements and we're giving away a one year free subscription. Now to enter the free giveaway, all you have to do is be subscribed to this channel and the Invato Tuts Plus YouTube channel and just drop a comment down below of the sort of tutorials that you're most interested in seeing. And I'm gonna draw a winner at the end of this month. Now, once I've got my paper texture, I'm just gonna drop this in behind here and I can just rescale this. And at the moment, there's a lot of contrast between them because they're quite similar. So what I want to do is make it darker. So I just simply add a tint to that background image and I've just changed my black or I mapped the black to be this sort of lighter white here or gray. And then this color to be a dark color like this. And this kind of just gives it that nice contrast. And you can also just add a slight bit of contrast over the top. And that's just gonna help kind of make it really kind of stand out from that map. One other thing you can do is because we can't see that detail of the texture of the map, you can basically take all of these here and change the blending mode to be add. Now, once you do that, it kind of gives it this see-through sort of look here. And to get to the blending modes, you might need to just toggle your switch. And that's gonna give you this look where you can see through the dots. Now, if you don't want that, what you can actually do is take all of these, just make them normal again, and then just pre-compose that and then just come up to layer and then down to pre-compose. Move all those into a new composition and change that composition to be add. And that's going to make sure that those dots are not see-through. You're still going to get that texture effect, but it's not going to be see-through. We're basically not going to be able to see through those dots. Now, the last thing I did was also add a null object over the top and use that to basically animate the camera moving through. So I right click created a new null object here and then parented these two bottom layers to that null. And then I just created a position and a scale keyframe here roughly about two seconds and then just animated this in by scaling it and then repositioning it here. Now this is a great Vox effect to make because it's really simple to put together and it looks really good. Now there are some things you can do to take this again to that next level. And if you wanna learn more about animation, I already have an animation course called Animation Master and I'll link to that in the description below. And that's gonna walk you through a lot of things that you can add onto this to really make it even better, but also walk you through all the basics of animation inside of After Effects. So that's it for this video. Hopefully you got something out of this. If you like this video, you can give it a thumbs up. If you love this video, then you might consider subscribing to this channel. You can also check out more videos over here on the side of screen. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.